Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in this series, I document my weight loss journey in a monthly vlog type format. I show you guys the ins and outs, the ups and downs, the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me to lose weight. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, hit the button below so you can keep up to date with all the things that I'm doing and give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. But without any further ado, let's get into January's monthly weight loss recap. guys as you guys saw I did work out it was my first workout of the year which I'm really excited about um, this year I decided I am going to up the weight on the dumbbells that I do the weight in general on all the weight that I lift at the gym so I went up a little bit which was good um, to be more challenging still gonna do the same amount of reps but yeah and then I'm also going to try to incorporate doing more um, burpees because I don't really do them and they are, they do give you that full body workout and they are challenging. So I did 40 of them today and then we'll see how I progress throughout the year. But my intention for January as well as 2020, but mainly January, January starting today, the second, I am going to not have any candy, no hot Cheetos, um, none of those snacky type things. It's gonna be pretty clean eating. I'll probably have like a cheat meal once a week at the, at the max. But other than that, it's gonna be as clean eating as possible and doing the intermittent fasting. And then for 2020 is just an overall goal is to get stronger besides losing weight which you know I do have like a goal of trying to lose another 30 pounds um, this this year and if I at the minimum and if I lose more than that that's great but minimum try to lose 30 pounds and then also just try to get stronger um, try to work on muscle growth as well I think that will be good but yeah, just to try to eat as clean as possible 90% of the time and limit even more the amount of snacks that I have. Um, try not to have as much processed food because that is, you know, not good for me, essentially. So I'm just trying to be better about that. But yeah, those are a little bit of my intentions for the year. And then we will see how it all pans out. For me, are you telling me this? this is the first food shop of the year, which I'm very excited about. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. I got some chicken, bacon, olive oil, Asian stir fry, eggs, red bell pepper, red onion, got some lemon, green juice, coconut milk, coconut water, avocados, and last but not least, green beans. This is a sign. She's looking in my eyes And I don't see no other guys Are you telling me this is a sign? Saturday the 11th of January I weigh 204 but it's like evening now it's like 5 15 what's the time it is right now but I went and ordered pork katsu curry with extra curry at my local ramen and poke shop and for dinner so I'm about to eat that it's literally where is it right on my bed waiting for me to be 
for waiting for me to eat it. And I went into Target and I was like, oh, I'm going to get myself the trolley gummy worms. And then as I was heading to the candy aisle, I didn't even make it into the candy aisle. I remember that I was like, that's my resolution for the month of January was to not have candy. So, didn't buy it. But, a moment of truth, a moment of honesty. I, at my job, we have like chocolate covered um, pretzels and gummies. And I've been having like a handful, like my palm size, of those mixtures almost every day last week with my lunch or dinner because um, I'm like working different hours and although I said I wouldn't have candy I have had those so I wanted to be honest about that and I did have sun chips on Friday healthier chips than hot Cheetos for sure but they were at my job they're provided at work so it's just like a new temptation um, that I really have to like fight against but I did start my period yesterday so I was like mm, that's why I've been very into craving a lot of the things so this past week wasn't great with that but I am at 204 so I'm not upset with my weight but next week I'm gonna do better <laughs> I'm currently eating breakfast. I'm having my avocado on toast with egg and I had a piece of bacon earlier. So without any further hesitation on what I weigh, I weigh 202.6. Yes, I weigh 202.6. This week I went in, I went hard. I, I did, I did it. I did the damn thing. It was great. So the past two weeks well i would say this week i've had a really good work i've had really good workouts the entire week and i think part of last week as well but this week especially but yeah i worked out four times a week this past week and i've been doing that the past couple weeks which has been really really great and i have been waking up around five uh, getting to the gym around 5.30, sometimes I wake up around 5.15, 5 o'clock, and then I just mosey on around until I finally fumble out the house. But I've been um, doing about 45 minutes of cardio every single day, in addition to all my workouts. I went ham this week on leg day, which was good, um, because the last time I went ham, I like hurt myself and I hurt my shin and my foot and had to wear that brace and keep my foot elevated and not go to the gym for a little bit because <sighs> of all that black ice super annoying but anyways I did that um, I had a really good arm day as well I've been doing abs I've been trying to incorporate more burpees into my workouts which is hard burpees are very very difficult and I've been eating pretty clean, um, I will say. Today, however, I am going to the movies with my best friend. And we are going to go to the Alamo Draft House. And I'm probably going to order a vegan pizza or a vegan burger. But I can't decide. So I put up a poll on my Instagram story. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's at Jasmine Rosette, same handle across all my social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. So yeah, just give me a follow there. I post pretty frequently on, um, I would say daily, on my Instagram stories, and I post a couple times a week on my Instagram feed, and then um, I, I post, 
I try to post weekly on Twitter. I'm not that good about using Twitter. I'm trying to be better. And then YouTube obviously is once a week on Mondays. So also if there's like a better day that you guys would like me to post on rather than Mondays, let me know and I will switch it to those days because I want to accommodate you guys and make it easier to watch. So there's that. usual frozen vegetables, eggs, avocado, some lemon, coconut water, chicken, and then I am going on a hike tomorrow. Oh, I forgot. Bought some cereal, some organic raisin bran from Trader Joe's, but I'm going on a hike tomorrow, so I got some rainbow trail mix. And I got some dried mango along with my favorite bar. It's the core bar, overnight oat bar with probiotics, blueberry, banana, almond. And got a ginger shot along with the mighty turmeric shot as well. Probably take this tonight or tomorrow. And then I didn't eat a lot today, so I went to Whole Foods, made myself a salad, have some kombucha, and a little bit of vegan ranch with some avocado um, dressing as well. And that is the food shop. Oh, and green juice. So, as you guys saw, I got down to 202.6, which means I'm officially 30.4 pounds down, guys. 30.4 pounds down. I am feeling very good, very positive. Um, yeah, just God is good, guys. God is so good. I realized that for the month of January, I said that I would not have any sweets, no hot Cheetos, none of that type of stuff. But as we saw, the, I mean, I still had my cheat meals, which, you know, you, you have to have that. There's balance. I feel like if I cut that out completely, I would just fail from the get-go. But I did have hot Cheetos on the last day of the month or the second to last day of the month. I think it was January 30th. And I did have some gummy bears throughout the month. So they weren't things that I bought. So technically I kept with it, but technically I didn't. Um, yeah. So I think going forward, I'm just going to stop making those type of promises of, you know, I'm going to restrict myself from all of, you know, these sweets and candies and stuff like that. I think everything in moderation is, is key. Everything, like if I'm just not having an excess amount, if I'm not, you know, kind of going above and beyond when having the sweets or the hot Cheetos and stuff like that, then I can be fine. But it's more so about moderation and I feel like I'm finally understanding that for myself and my weight loss journey and also my overall health journey and fitness journey is just that everything's in moderation. None of this is good versus bad food. It's just food that I like and I love hot Cheetos. I love you know, the Sour Bright Gummy Worms, I love gummy bears, um, chocolate covered pretzels, you know, chips and salsa, uh, pork katsu curry, ramen, ice cream, you know, just all, all the different types of desserts. I, I love them all, but I can't continue to be like, I'm gonna restrict myself for an entire month so that, you know, this next month I can have them because you know, then I might gain it all back in the next month if I, you know, just eat all that I can because I, I suppressed myself in a way that was not healthy for me and beneficial for me. So I think just having that healthy moderation and understanding that like, I will have a cheat meal and that cheat meal will include a dessert and kind of leaving it at that and if I have a snack throughout the week, it's a snack and not beat myself up over it. But yeah, everything in moderation. So I'm very excited for how far that I've come and I'm glad that you guys have stuck with me on this journey. 
I'm excited to see how 2020 starts out. I mean, it's not starts out, but how 2020 pans out um, for my weight loss journey. And yeah, if you are on the same journey with me, comment below, I would love to know. And I think I want to do like a what I eat in a week video or maybe what I eat in a month video. I don't know if that would be helpful because I feel like I try to show that in these videos, but it can kind of get, these videos can get really long and I just don't know if you guys like a lot longer. I don't know if you guys like longer videos or if you want shorter videos, but yeah, that was something that I'm kind of throwing around is having a separate video showing everything that I eat, the snacks, all of it without, you know, scrimping on anything. So if you guys want to see that, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, let me know. And if you like this format, let me know. I will continue doing it in this format. I feel like this is something that works. But if you guys have suggestions for, you know, a, a vlog style format that could be better of documenting my weight loss journey, I am totally up open to hearing it. So just let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. So without any further ado, stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. I will see you guys in February's monthly weight loss recap. Man, 2020 is off to a great start, and I'm so excited to see where this takes us. See you guys next time. Bye!